Holy Spirit arrives to teach me. Every thought has substance. Now, this was a very different kind of dream. It came to me early this year. I think it was around January or February 2015. It was very different because it was unlike my other dreams, which are like encounters in the spirit. But this was more like I was in an open air classroom. Holy Spirit arrived as the teacher in this classroom, and he was giving me a very clear and simple lesson. The dream started off with me viewing myself almost like in third person, and I could see that I looked very troubled in the dream. And actually, at that time, there were things going on in my reality where I felt I was being unjustly attacked. And this attack came out of left field. So it wasn't surprising that in the dream I looked upset and disturbed. And suddenly a swarm of insects seemed to appear above me. They were buzzing around me. They were bees. I love bees, but in the dream, these bees were very annoying. They made so much noise, they were irritating me, and they also pose a threat of danger. They could sting me. At this point, Holy Spirit began to speak to me. He explained, The things that trouble you are like the bees buzzing around you, stealing, demanding your attention. And I began to see a thick liquid. It was like a gel pouring out of me. It was pouring onto the bees. And it was coming out of every part of me. My head, my body, my eyes, every part of me. Holy Spirit explained, When you put your attention on the things that trouble you, the bees, then your substance pours onto them. It makes them stronger. I saw the bees gaining strength as this thick substance that came from me poured on them. It was as if they grew in size and they became noisier and noisier. I was so disturbed. Then Holy Spirit said to me, I want you to now direct all your substance onto the Word of God. Referring to the Holy Scriptures in the Bible, then a book appeared. It opened up, as if inviting me to feast on it. It was the Bible. I obeyed Holy Spirit, and I put all my thoughts and substance on the Bible. Then again I saw this thick gel, this substance that was coming from me, but this time it was wrapping around the living word, and the Bible, the book, was engulfed in it. I realized that I had the ability to decide where this substance, this gel, would flow. Something quite unexpected began to happen. As my substance intermingled and wrapped with the Word of God, a container of pesticide appeared. It was so wild, I had no idea this would happen. And the pesticide was alive and animated. It began to spray onto the bees and spray, and it kept spraying until they all disappeared, and the swarm of bees left me. The noise had ceased, and it was suddenly peaceful. I was freed from the disturbance without even trying. I was so amazed and so happy. It just was so wonderful because I didn't even have to ask for it to be handled. I didn't have to plan anything. I didn't even have to know how it would be taken care of. All that I was required to do was to consciously direct my substance, which are my thoughts, my attentions, my captivations, and pour it onto the Word of God. I could see what Holy Spirit was trying to show me. We have to be like a child to see the kingdom of God. We have to be entirely dependent on Him. 
And this requires releasing the reins from trying to control or engineer things on our own. You know, sometimes we get so busy with our lives, we think we don't have enough time to spend in the Word to read the Bible. Even in ministry, sometimes you get so busy that there are things to do, there's things to plan, and, and it doesn't feel like there's enough time. But in reality, by reading the Bible and really engaging with it, we have unseen help. The Lord is now able to get so many things handled for us in re our reality, in accelerated time, things that we could not have done or engineered on our own. So our priority needs to be on feasting on, the, on Him, the living Word. Especially if you're troubled, if you need help, if you're striving and working at a solution at the expense of turning to Him, it's just not effective. Our Father, our Heavenly Father, will provide the best solution at the best time, and we don't even have to know how. The substance that I saw pouring out of me was so precious, it could actually mix with things and create and magnify them. This substance is real. We have to be careful with it and use it to magnify and create what's good, rather than magnifying and unconsciously sometimes creating and expounding on what troubles us. You see, the enemy is always trying to fixate our attention because it is such a precious commodity. And in the dream, I was visibly able to see this. There is form to it. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yes, it is a substance. Every thought or attention particle has a form, a weight, or substance. In the dream, I saw the reality of it. I saw it. If you're in physical pain, that tries to grab your attention. If you're in financial straits, that's another thief demanding your valuable substance. If your family life is trouble, you have another crime taking place of um, concern and worry and upset. The substance that we emanate is a precious, precious commodity. Think of it as gold and pour this treasure on the most powerful thing that it can mix with. And when it mixes with this, it offers the most fruitful, abundant and graceful outcome. Pour it on the Holy Scripture. Things will happen that will surprise and amaze you. We are like a blessed, sanctified child, and our Heavenly Father, He does wonderful things on our behalf. But we have to turn to Him. We have to give Him all of our substance. Every thought, every emotion, every belief, every imagination, when we wrap it around His Word, things happen. 2 Corinthians 10.5 casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen.